And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the green, white and black trunks, on, trimmed with orange. He's an Irish-Canadian, comes from Ontario in Canada. Undefeated as a professional in three contests, one win by way of knockout. Weighted at nine stone, 11 and a half pound. Please welcome uh, Logan McGuinness. Round one. David Irving's in charge of this one. And coming out of the red corner, the name Cotton on his trunks, the word Cotton. Logan McGuinness. Nice tight guard. It's Polish opponent in the national colours of his country. Marcin Kulba. Tall, mind you, for a featherweight division. This is super feather. Watch your heads, watch your heads. This head in the inside there. And he definitely caught him now, whether by accident or design. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say accident. But uh, Kulba felt it and immediately oh. looked to the referee to get him out of there, but he's in trouble anyway. This Logan McGuinness looks like he can hit. Yeah, he caught up with a nice wee over overhand right there, Jimmy, just right bang on the chin. And uh, Kulba, like, he really felt the, uh, the effects of that punch. You could sort of see his legs sort of moving slightly, and, and he, he made a sort of a, a face to, to let... Uh, McGuinness knew that he, he was badly hurt, but it just shows you killed his inexperience. Because if you're hurt, the last thing you want to do is let your opponent know you're hurt. Because if you do that, you'll be on top of you like a clegg. Haven't heard that one in a long time, a clegg. That's a good it would have to be from a certain part of the country to know what that means. It's one of those things you get around the farm from time to time. But that's your grandfather. Logan McGuinness really chasing him down, and he hasn't given him one moment's respite. Ah! Polish corner courage him, that's one thing you're well able to do in this game, whereas in Olympic or amateur boxing, they're not allowed coach from the corner. Well, he hasn't shown anything uh, and in an offensive way, the lad from Poland. And the first round has been, if not exactly commanded, but certainly being won by the man with the black and topped with orange trunks, with a white belt. In other words, black, white and orange trunks. That's correct. With a green shamrock on the, on the leg. to cover all eventualities. That's the, the first decent right hand that, that Paul Kuba has thrown and the end of the round and most definitely Logan's round. Round two then, this is scheduled for four. Maybe that the high-fitting trunks of the Canadian give that impression, but he looks a bulkier man, but they've both come in around the same weight. 9, 10, 9, 10 and a half, round about that. And the tattoos, which are now becoming part and parcel of the game. Not just in boxing, but in loads of sports. Funny thing about tattoos, especially if you put personal names on them, you follow it with whoever's name it is, you can't scrub it off. <laughs> You're in big trouble. <laughs> You're in big trouble, that's right. McGuinness here I'll seems to be... I'll never forget you, Rosie. <laughs> oh, no. Take it easy, <laughs> It's a good second round, though, for Logan McGuinness. That's a nice left of the body. Yeah, McGuinness, he looks, he looks the stronger of the two uh, opponents right now. That he's a, he's a heavier puncher. Not a big lot heavier, but he's got a bit more power. 
he was a bit more skillful. You know, he he's he, he's in a more squat position, so he, he, he's harder to kneel. You know, with a, with a big right hand or a big left hook. So at this moment in time, like McGuinness looks to have the upper hand. He, he looks to be the more accomplished fighter right now. And he's boxing tight as well. His guard, see the hands close in, almost crossed over. Nice right. Oh, left that's right nice. To follow. I get the feeling Jimmy, that if, that if McGuinness uh, piles the pressure on here, I think uh, there's a good chance that uh, Kulbay could probably crumble. He just wants to keep the pressure on. Don't let this man off the hook at all. Just keep at him. Keep on and on. Don't let up. And I can see uh, Kulbay like maybe wanting to find like a trap door. Yeah. As far as I know, there's no magician on tonight, so there's no trap door on the ring. Good contest, this. This is the set. Good contest from McGuinness, anyway, with uh, less than three quarters of a minute left in the second round. He's just getting a little wild with his punches. He's throwing them all right, but he's not connecting. And if he just stood back for a second and just reshaped his brain, I think he would connect with a lot more. But Kuba looks a little distressed, and it's only the second round. Last ten. Oh, good Left stuff. And a good right to follow. The right was particularly good. But he simply outpunched him, hasn't he? This is only round two, and it's the end of round two. And uh, David Irving goes for good. No book, and he'll write down ten, and he'll write down nine. We're at the halfway mark. And as far as I'm concerned, McGuinness would be leading by a couple of points, 20 to 18. And Cole will have to produce something pretty spectacular now to change it around. No doubt his corner had been telling him that. See, so he's just that millimeter short with the jab all the time or is taken a glove by the other man that last right overhand right is also taken on the glove there's a fair amount of slapping in this too from both men good stuff here from uh Guinness, he's pinning the pressure on, but Columbus trying his best to throw punches, but they're having no effect at all on uh, McGuinness here. So McGuinness is just driving forward here, throwing punches from every angle. There's not a big load of power in the punches, but they're wearing uh, Columba down, you know, they're breaking down in his defences, and you can tell by looking at his face and tell by his manner, Jimmy, he seems to be running low on gas right now, uh, Columba. You know, they, there's not a big lot left in the tank. And nice, that's a left hand that takes a little more out of the tank. In fact, it's probably seeping by now. Another left hand catches him, a non guarded chin. Tries his own right hand, but it was more. In, you know, he's not far away from taking a count here. He's not taken far away from defeat. In fact, there it is. The towel is thrown in the corner, and that's compassionate. Well done, corner. That's the right thing. Why get the fellow hurt? Why get the fellow damaged? Why kill his confidence for the future? He was outclassed, outpointed, and eventually retired by his corner. And a win for Logan McGuinness in round three. Are they allowed to throw in a towel over here? Are they in, they're not in British, but are they in Irish? Okay, my son. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute forty four seconds of the third round, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, Logan McGuinness. And appreciation please, Marcin Kovar.